Here we go. Yeah, let's go, MJF, baby! No, no, no! Cut it! Cut it! Cut it! Ah, oh, come on, MJF! If I want you to talk, you know, so keep your fat mouth shut! Oh, come on, MJF. I was jamming out to your tunes. Well, Tony, as you mentioned, of course, when Moxley headed to the showers. Come on, MJF. I am so glad he's back. John Moxley, seven long days I haven't slept a wink since me and you came toe-to-toe -to -toe last week. And do you know why? It's cause shut your damn mouth! <laughs> oh, I love when he's mad. I saw the look in your eyes, man. You have the look of a man who had no fear, and you have no idea how much that pisses me off. Oh, damn. See, you must have me confused with somebody else. You see a podium in this ring? Huh? You see an MJF 2020 sign? Nah, you Oh, shit. I like how he referenced, you know, the first feud they had in 2020. Nah, nah, nah. I ain't playing a character, John. You are. I don't know. I feel like Mox is Mox, but okay. Bad John Moxley. You're a joke. You're about as much of a joke as these schmucks. <laughs> but I read your book, John. It was a real good read. I especially love the part where you talked about your childhood. Because it turns out you were raised much the same as all these people here in Albany, New York. <laughs> I did read Mo John Moxley's book. It's so good. White trash scumbag from the sticks. I think of Moxley's book, I'm on like page like 50 and I still have not finished it. And you got bullied, <laughs> didn't you, John? Cameraman, get in the corner. <laughs> John, you got you got beat down, you got your bicycle stolen, didn't you? And when stuff like that happens, it forces men to put on a front. And it works, John, you built a great character. That's why these morons chant your name every week. <laughs> yeah, Mox be riding a bicycle, MJF was riding one of those like friggin' remote control friggin' Jeeps or <laughs> Corvettes. <laughs> Cause I know you, man. Deep down, you're still that same scared, poor little boy from the slums of Cincinnati. Except the only difference is now, you're old enough to drown all your childhood trauma in alcohol like a worthless... Oh my god! Come on, MJF! I know Mox has been, he's dealt with alcohol problems. Damn. And it takes, you shut your mouth, fat boy! Ahaha, he called him fat and he flexed right on him. You got sober, and that takes a lot of intestinal fortitude, guts, bravery. You slayed your demons, you defeated your disease. But here's the problem, John. My brain is far more dangerous than your disease. And this is not just a message for you, it's a message for Jericho and Danielson. Bad things happen when people get in MJF's way. Got that right, because he's better than you and you know it. You take that vacation you were planning on, bud. How about you skip Arthur Ashe? Because if I were you, I wouldn't want to be winning my AEW World title. I swear, out of all of this, MJF better get the world title. I want to see them build freaking AEW around this guy. Best homegrown talent they got. Back from your little stint at rehab, you told a story about a demon. And that demon, it hanged over your head like a black cloud and it was in your ear. And the demon told you that everything you've earned since you left those slums of Cincinnati... You don't deserve it. That demon told you he was going to take everything away from you. Your family, your fame, your success, your fortune. Know this, John Moxley. If you do not tread lightly, you will find out that I am that demon. 
Ooh, I like the camera shot right there. And I'm a demon you can't slay. Now, Albany, let's get down to business. Not that that's something you can understand since you're all poor. <laughs> a young group of gentlemen helped me procure my chip in the casino ladder match. All these men... All come from different walks of life, and yet they all share the same goals. Okay, I like this. The first ever stable on retainer, led by a man who is my best friend. A man who I have known since I was 19 years old. And a man who's got more talent in his little pinky than any of you worthless pieces of shit have in your entire body. <laughs> The firm, I like that name. Yeah. I like this. I was waiting for like something out of this because they helped MJF out. We know Stokely and MJF have history if you, you know you followed them with Luminous Wrestling and you know the independence. So like I'm glad we're finally getting this situated. Like, what's the goal here? Take a look at the big man walking behind. And I'm glad. I think that this will work out way better for Stokely than, you know, what he was doing with Jade Cargill. Definitely. Albany, New York! I know it's not Sunday, but you're about to hear some gospel. Oh, MJF, he left. I flew from Orlando, Florida to New York City to meet my best friend the number one contender for the AEW World Championship, Maxwell Jacob Friedman. But now that Ethan Page is a part of the firm, this what does that mean for Scorpio Sky? AEW until I told them, if you quit, you're going to give everyone exactly what they want, and now it's time for you to get what you want. So we sat down and we prayed and we prayed and we prayed and we came up with the logical solution Everyone in this ring on retainer. We are MJF support system while we gain more opportunities for ourselves. It all makes sense. And, and, tonight is one of the rare times you will see us all together. Because when MJF doesn't need us, we will go our separate ways. So I'm going to admit something for the first time on national television. I like this. This has meaning. I'm not a publicist. I'm not a manager. And I damn sure ain't no assistant. Who am I? I'm a friend. Just a friend. A friend who has a network and connections to make any and everything happen. And some of you all wish you had a friend just like me. <laughs> Everything I've done since Double or Nothing has been a lie. It's been a hustle, a con, all to infiltrate the system. And how did I do it? You know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. From kicking it with Britt Baker and Jamie Hayter to watching reruns of Living Single with the House of Black. There's not one rock that I haven't on turn. And where I'm from, there's a phrase, the blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. And on one hand, that means love and admiration for our beautiful black queens. And on the other hand, that means that the juicier the gossip, the more power you have. He's good on the mic. Like good old-fashioned blackmail, that's what makes me wake up in the morning. That is what turns me on. Why couldn't we get this Snokely right away? Wants and what they're here for. Morrissey. Morrissey, great shape. I know what you want. You want to do whatever you want. And since no one here is going to say it, we appreciate you and I love you. Aww, Stokely hugging him. I don't think he's happy about that. I love you, man. I don't know if you heard me. I said I love you, man. Lee Moriarty. 
The one guy I don't really like in this group. Oh, I like how he's setting his eyes on stuff. Yes, boy, chat. Love it. The guns, they are not boys, they are men. <laughs> and they no longer want to walk in the shadows of their broke ass daddy. <laughs> you want to become the AEW tag team champions. And you may not take them seriously, but trust me, you will. Ethan Page, my main man. Now, this, out of all the people, Ethan Page, this man I've needs a title. This man for over 10 years. We've been up and down the road together. We've been best friends and bitter enemies. And I know exactly what you want. He wants to represent his country, excuse me, his beautiful home country of Canada. And do something you couldn't do before, hang around those knuckleheads. You want to win the All-Atlantic Championship. Now that I can definitely so see happening. Ladies and gentlemen, we are the firm, and when we are around, you only have two options. Either run with us, or run from us. Well, beware. Alright, finally, we got the introduction of the firm. I liked how MJF was out here to kind of introduce it a little bit, but I want to know more of the history of this and more of the background of this. Because so far, they got me interested, definitely. I just wish that, you know, they presented Stokely like this right away. He's definitely done more for me here than he ever did in NXT and, you know, the beginning of his AEW run. But definitely out of all these people, like, I think Ethan Page is going to benefit from this the most. But what does that mean for Scorpio Sky, though? That's the only thing. Ooh, Jungle Boy and Jay Lethal. That's going to be a good one.